Hey guys, I thought I would vlog really quick. I just ordered a bookcase from Target and I've been meaning to do it, but I've just been procrastinating it because it's expensive. But I just ordered it right now and we're gonna go pick it up when my dad picks up my sister from tennis. Um, I will show you. If you saw the last vlog, you know what it looks like. I got a bookcase and a poly mailer because I need to mail out a Depop order. But there's the bookshelf and I chose the drive up option so hopefully they can just drive up to the car and put it in the car but I've never done this option so we'll see. But I will vlog me setting it up and everything. It's gonna have to go right here just because this is like the only space where it fits. I wanted it behind the door but the bookcase that I got just doesn't fit so I'm not I'm gonna have to find a new place to put all these blankets and stuffed animals so I can put my books. And then I'm also gonna order some books once I finish my TBR. I finished um, red, white, and royal blue in literally one day. So yeah, I finished that last night at like 2.30. Then here are the side annotations. Not that many. I think I gave it a three out of five stars. It was just okay. But yeah, I'm so excited. I'm gonna move all these books to my bookshelf to fill it up. But I, the only like complete series that I have is Harry Potter. So yeah, I'm gonna finish reading this book today. I started it at, right after I finished my other book. So like at 2.30, almost done with it. Uh, hopefully I'll finish it before bed so I actually don't have to stay up till like 2.30 today. I'm gonna read and uh, we'll see. which is really tall the shelving and then the other things I'm just gonna do a time lapse I look gross okay y'all I look disgusting holy cow anyways the bookshelf is completed my dad helped me a bit to move it into like that but I'm gonna set it up tonight it's already 12.15, so we'll see how that goes, but I'm going to clean up my room a bit because it's looking a bit messy, and then I'm going to transfer all my books. Hey guys, it's been a couple days since I finished my bookshelf and I did a tour when I made the bookshelf but I rearranged it after I did my tour so now I'm gonna give you guys an, another tour and like not put in the other clip here is the bookshelf actually I'll stand back here's the completed bookshelf I even bolted it to the wall so it's like really complete I'm just gonna like quickly go over all the shelves so that I can like we'll do it this way this is my Harry Potter shelf my shadow hunter shelf paperbacks and some of them are standalones some of them are series and then i have my hardbacks and then series down there this is my harry potter shelf i have all the harry potter books in hardback and then i have these paper ones which i stole when i was like from elementary school and i still have them and then I have the like smaller books, The Crimes of Grindelwald and then The Cursed Child. And then I also have a Harry Potter map in there. And then my Harry Potter stand and wand. And then I have a little whale. This is my Shadowhunter shelf. I have these two books, but I'm getting the first one in hardcover. So I'm gonna add that on. It'll be like right here. And then I have these two books these books and then i have my little mallet pin that came with this book and then i have my two paperbacks right here 
This paperback I got from a friend in like seventh grade and she was reading it and she didn't want it anymore. Or she like finished reading it and she didn't want it and she was like, do you want this? And I was like, um, yes. And it was the fifth book and it has Alec on it, my favorite character. And I was like, um, yes. So then I have that and then I have Lady Midnight. I mean, it kind of looks like Shat because my sister spilled maple syrup on it. So, and then on top of it, I have a picture, a swim picture in this like really pretty frame, but the picture is a little bit too small. So I have that and then I have a disposable camera. And then these are my paper bags. And I have some series. I'm getting the rest of this series like next Friday. Same with this one. And that's about it. So those probably will go like down there or I might switch it, I don't know. But these are mostly just standalones. I just finished reading this book like five minutes ago. I'm not even kidding. It was so good. I have a light bulb on top of these two books. And then I have a, sp a Spider-Man bobblehead, which looks like it's floating, kind of. And then down here, I have my hard covers. Mm, some of them are series, but some of them are standalones. Um, they're actually all series. I just don't have all the books. I'm getting the second and third ones of this book later. Um, but I have Sarah J. Mass, Rick Rowan. I there's no book in there. I just took off the dust cover so it would look like it's full because I'm gonna read this book next. I have a special edition of The Great Gatsby. Um Yeah, and then this little woman edition. And then I have Snow White and a One Direction perfume that used to be on my nightstand, but it's now there because I don't want it on my nightstand anymore. And then down here are some more series. I have Twilight right here. I need to finish reading this book. And then I have my Rick Riordan books. I don't have the first one, I think, but I read these books. Um, I have this book. I have an Agent May bobblehead, but she's leaning against this thing because she's like unbalanced, so she'll fall over. So she's leaning like that. And then I have a turtle that we got from, uh, oh shoot, I literally don't remember. Um, it's an Asian country, I maybe like Shanghai, I don't know. And then here I have a little bin, and you just open it. And inside I have my keys, which I keep in here because I rarely use them. And then I have my little book covers for when I travel so that my books don't get, ew, my toes, <laughs> so that my books don't get ruined. But yeah, I keep that in there. It's like convenient because it takes up space and my bookshelf looks more full. And then I have lights, which you just press and then the lights are on. That's my bookshelf tour. I think I did like a way more in-depth one, like, like the night that I built this, but I rearranged it so that the shelves are more full. Like that's why some of the books are turned like this and like this so that there's like no gaps. But I'm gonna have to rearrange it when I get some new books. I got a ton of new books, so I'm pretty excited about that. But thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys liked it. I'm so happy with my bookshelf and I'm very grateful because I have wanted a bookshelf forever and my future house is gonna have a library. Yay. Thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you guys on Monday.